Is President Clinton here with you on this trip? No, he he is not with me on he this trip. He's not with you on this no, trip. No, he uh, he was um, out here in uh, California, but he's worked his way uh, back to New York. I think it was last week he said something to the effect of a uh, Hillary Clinton presidency would um, make up for what was the exact word uh, the awful legacy of the last eight years, and a lot of people thought that was a shot at. President Obama. Well, yeah, it wasn't. Which it, 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 yeah, it was obviously not. I mean, he nominated President Obama for his second term, and we are both very proud supporters of President Obama. But what it was was the recognition that President Obama, who I think doesn't get the credit he deserves for getting as much done <laughs> as he has in our, in our country, has faced this implacable wall of hostility from the Republicans. We're seeing it again, Jimmy, with their opposition to even meeting with and considering the president's uh, nominee for the Supreme Court, that to me is just uh, beyond partisanship. It is really tearing at the, at the guts of the Constitution and our, our responsibilities for the president to do what he's done and for the Senate to fulfill uh, their role. Do you think that if the situation was reversed, if there was a, a Republican president and the Democrats were in control of... Uh, of that, do you think that that it would be the same thing that they say we don't want a conservative Supreme Court justice and let's do everything we can to prevent that from happening? Well, I would hope not, but you have the chance at the end of the process to vote yes or no. What the Republicans in the Senate are refusing to do is even go through the process. They won't meet with the nominee. They won't hold a hearing, which is what is supposed to happen. And then you go to the floor of the Senate, and there's all kinds of procedures you can follow, and you can either vote yes or no. But to refuse even to give the nominee the chance to be heard, I think, is unprecedented. Is it possible that they're busy? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, if, if, they were, if they were busy and they were doing uh, the work of the country as opposed to obstructionism, uh, they should still find time to fit in a Supreme Court nominee. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy.